Let's try some healthy snacks. Ow, I hit my elbow. going to be taste testing some healthy snacks that I bought at Target um, and I should say healthy kind of in quotations everybody has a different opinion about that what that means so I'll go through them what's healthy about it maybe even what's not healthy about it and then just taste test them for you and tell you what's worth your money what's not worth it and what I recommend all right let's get started with the first thing I got freeze-dried grape blueberry and cherry fruit blend the serving size is this whole package, and they were not cheap. They were $4.59 for this, which seems kind of pricey for this being one serving size. But what's good about it is that it only has 100 calories, if that matters to you. I don't really care about calories, personally. I care more about ingredients and calories. That's just how I am. Yeah, but this just has the fruits that's in it. So let me try. I'm going to try to get, like, one of each. It looks like... <laughs> It looks like potpourri or something. I don't even know if I can tell. Like, I know this is a blueberry. Tastes like if blueberries and styrofoam had a baby. I will say, I don't like blueberries that much, so, unless they're like in a muffin. In that case, I'm all for it. Okay, so let me try a grape. Mm. I like this one better. I like the strawberries of these. I've gotten the strawberries before. I'm gonna try to get a cherry. I think this is the cherry. That one's a lot chewier than the blueberry. Mm. Tastes really good though. Okay, so I like these, minus the blueberry. <sighs> blueberry wasn't my thing. There's tons of options, which is really nice at Target. And, and they're non-GMO also, which is pretty good too. I'm gonna try these. I've tried these before. I keep looking over to the side because I have all these notes over here about each one. So this box was $4.99 and they're non-GMO, they're vegan, and they have 14 grams of whole grain, 3 grams of fiber, so they don't have corn syrup or anything like that. They do have sugar, but they are healthier than some of the alternatives that you see in the grocery stores that are like packaged for kids, like Chewy Bars, Nutri-Grain Bars, stuff like that. Those have a lot of uh, bad sugars. All sugar is bad to some people, but it's worse. Mm. These are really good. Kind of like, kind of like a Nutrigrain bar and a Fig Newton, like mixed together. I really like that. This is even like more like a cookie almost. So, all right, next, I'm just gonna actually mention. I'm not gonna eat them, but if you like trail mix that doesn't have too much extra, you know, candy or whatever. Apparently, the sugar, the cranberries have sugar on them, and it has pecans, cranberries, almonds, walnuts. They sell these in individual packs if you're like on the go or if your kids will eat that on the go. And I just put these in little containers or like a Ziploc bag or something and take them to work all the time. So as you can see, I've tried this before. It's a really good trail mix. I really enjoy it. All right, so, and then next, I'm gonna try this Olipop. I see everyone talk about these. Like they're like the best. Do I believe them? No, but I have to try. This is the strawberry vanilla kind. It has lots of probiotics. It has real juice. I don't think it has any regular sugar. I think it just has some stevia. It has nine grams of fiber. That's a lot of fiber for a drink. So, I don't like it. What does it remind me of though? But yeah, it only has three grams of added sugars, nine grams of fiber, 35 calories. If you're a big soda drinker, it might be a nice replacement. I'm not a big soda drinker. I'm not surprised that it's not like my favorite. It's not that good. Not necessarily my thing. If you like them though, let me know below and let me know what your favorite flavor is because there's a few, there might be like, I don't know. There was at least three flavors at the Target that I was at. I don't know if there's more than that on the market, but yeah, let me know if you like, like I know there's an orange one. Might be like a cream soda one or something like that. Next, I'm gonna try these uh, Vermont Smoke and Cure Uncured Pepperoni Sticks. Now these I've tried before. It says 60 calories, nine grams of protein, zero grams of sugar, and one carb. These are so good, guys. If you haven't had these, 
Oh my gosh, it's so good. I just want to eat one even though I've tried it before. <laughs> They're gluten free. The turkey has no antibiotics or added hormones. Mm. They're so good. I love them. I like a lot of beef jerky will have a ton of sugar added and I don't know, all kinds of like ingredients that aren't the best. These have ingredients that I recognize. Um, as far as, yeah, I think I recognize everything that's in the ingredients in here. So that makes me feel better about eating it. And they're really good. If you like pepperoni, if you like meat sticks that aren't like super spicy, highly recommend these turkey pepperoni sticks. Really good. And this is $5.49 for the pack of six. And let's see, five grams of protein. I don't know, did I say that? Probably did too. Nine grams of protein. Oh, the serving size is two sticks. So it depends if you're eating two or one, how much protein, obviously. Anyway, you guys probably can figure that math out. So whatever I said, it was for two, not for one, FYI. Crunch Masters Multigrain Crackers is what I want to try next. I was looking for a healthier cracker because I get like Ritz a lot. So these have pretty decent ingredients. They're made with olive oil. They have the 21 grams of whole grains per serving or more. It says non-GMO, gluten-free, made in a peanut-free facility if you're, you or your children are allergic to peanuts. I mean, that's great. It's really hard to find things that are made in a completely peanut-free facility. So that's good to know. And yeah, so again, ingredients I recognize, not too much sugar. I don't really care about calories. Like I said, I care more about ingredients. So this is pretty good to me. Actually, I tried them a couple weeks ago and I forget what they taste like, so I'm gonna try them. I like this. They're really like crunchy. They taste a little nutty with the sesame seeds. These are really good. I like them. I gotta try this next. These True Fruits Nature's Cherries. Frozen fresh in white and dark chocolate. These look so delicious to me. I'm excited to try this one. They are just cherries. It says Nature's Cherries picked ripe, frozen fresh, captures natural ripeness, immersed in white and dark chocolate. Not a huge fan of white chocolate, but I love dark chocolate. Let me show you the inside of the bag. Hopefully you can see that. I like that it's just real fruit and chocolate. That's pretty much it. And I gotta put these back in the freezer, so I'm gonna hurry up and try them. Oh. Ooh. I can't eat cold things on my teeth. Mmm. Wow. Minus the cold tea situation. <sighs> Guys, that was so good. <laughs> so, ooh, I wanna eat another one. I shouldn't because I have like other chocolate coming up. Hold on. This one's not. We can't even bite it hardly because it breaks apart. Cherry looks like nice and bright red. I gotta put these back in the freezer and wash my hands. Let's try this RX nut butter. Honey, cinnamon, peanut butter, $6.79 for this jar. Gluten free, only three grams of sugar, nine grams of protein, mostly good ingredients. Ooh, I got it open. That was surprising. I thought that was gonna be much more of a struggle. Smells good. I mean, smells like peanut butter. That's good. I'm just gonna stir it a little bit. This would be really good with apples. Honey, cinnamon, with apples, mm, sounds delicious. Wow, that is quite liquidy. Let me try it with one of these crackers. I will drizzle it on here. That wasn't a drizzle. <laughs> Pretty good. Very 
cinnamon after kick. Good. I like it. Next, I'm gonna try the RX bar. 12 grams of protein and it's gluten-free. It's pretty simple, just dates, peanuts, egg whites, natural flavors, and sea salt. Dates is first, so it is high in sugar. I don't usually like protein bars. 15 grams of sugar, five grams of fiber, 12 grams of protein. I'm hoping I'll like, like it, because it's not terrible as far as ingredients go. Ooh, really sticky. Reminds me of a Laura bar, the texture. At least Billy now. Really chewy and really sweet, like too sweet. Yeah. Mm. I do not like that. Okay, guys, this is what I'm the most excited about. Okay, this is just that it's better than candy. Uh, ethically sourced, gluten free, no artificial colors or flavors. I have heard some people that I follow here on YouTube talk about these so many times. You know who Jessica Braun? Jessica and Tyler Braun, two of my favorite YouTubers. They talk about these so much and I've been dying to try them and I don't know why I haven't bought them until now, but dark chocolate, peanut butter, skinny dipped almonds. It smells different than I expected it to smell. It smells a little more salty. They are nice and sweet and salty. It's not too much chocolate, which is the point of skinny dip things. Um, just a light coating of chocolate. The peanuts are really good. If you ever get the milk chocolate covered peanuts, really good. Um, these are pretty good too. I don't get a ton of peanut butter taste, but I guess kind of it Kind of blends in with the almond taste, I guess. I thought it was gonna taste more peanut buttery. They're really good. You could eat like a million of these and not realize because they're not so sugary. Dangerous. Very good though. Mm, I definitely recommend. I wanna do a quick rating on a scale of one to 10, these things. Okay, RX bars. RX bars at the last spot. Last isn't worse. Worse as in 10. Left 10. Number 10, RX bars. Not that great. Okay. Next worst. Next worst. What's the next worst? Um, Olipop. It's just not my thing. That's all. Mm, my favorite. My favorite are probably is probably oh man, those true fruit. I like the true fruit more than this. I have to be honest. If I'm going for like a chocolate treat, I like that better. That was more of my thing. If you like like chocolate covered strawberries, I think you would really like the, tr the true fruit stuff because I keep saying true fruit. It's just true fruit. Um, they have chocolate covered strawberry ones. They have raspberries, uh, maybe blueberries. These are very good though. Um, these are somewhere like, man, nothing else is bad though. Um, meh. These were good. They're so expensive for what it is though. So it's like, what is it? Like four something for this, that's one serving and it's like nothing in here. Um, yeah, so I would just put that there or even partly because of that. Peanut butter, I mean, it, the RX butter, it's just nothing special. Okay, so I'm going, by the way, worst to best apparently here. Um, then I'll say the Crunch Masters chips. They're good. I would definitely eat them, but it's not like, Wow, I can't wait to buy that or eat that again. But it's a nice replacement for a cracker, for a gluten cracker, if you're trying to be a little bit more conscious about your gluten. Next, I'm gonna go with the skinny dip almonds here. And then I'm gonna say the Nature's Bakery things. These are really good. So this is number, what do I have left? This is four, okay? So then I'm gonna say this is three. Again, it's not like super special, but they're so good. And it's such a nice snack. Like. Yeah, um, turkey pepperoni six. Number two, oh, I love these. I could eat these like almost every day, so good. Okay, so that's two and one is the true fruit. One has gotta be the true fruit. That was 
Ooh, that was so good, guys. <laughs> like, run, go get those. So good. This is a little overhyped because I hear so many people talk about it. It's just okay. I think they just sponsor a lot of people. I mean, that's really where I think the hype comes from with this one. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I'm gonna try to like link them below for you. Obviously not sponsored because I have like not that many followers. <laughs> so if you're not following me, follow me below. That would be great. I'd love to have you join me. I do lots of videos where I uh, recipe test. I show you my tried and true recipes and I taste test new things with you and for you. So subscribe to keep watching, like the video if you liked it, and comment down below what your favorite healthier snacks are. Snacks are always new. So let me know below. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. I think. Whoa. That just flew off of there. I think. Rose.